check it twice. My Christmas and New Year's party outfits and the shoes to go with them. Yes, yoga wear, laptop, bows and phones, 4G hotspot router, swimwear, cons mic, needy keyboard controller, room makeover. Gosh, way over budget. I need a bonus, so I'll have to empty my account. Hey, Chrissy. No, this is not your setup. Just a friendly holiday advisor from First National Bank. If you want these things, the First National Bank is a holiday home just for you. Easy, affordable. Don't spend all your money. Keep it in the bank and save this holiday season. You'll be happy you did. Okay, that was weird, but it made sense. Let me call my people at First National Bank now. It's Christmas at First National Bank. Save your holiday money or get a Christmas loan. First National Bank, here for you. St. Lucia, we've got great news for you. Flo's home internet just got better. Now with faster internet speeds, you can surf, binge, play, and stream non-stop on St. Lucia's most reliable network. The best part is the speed increase is on us. So enjoy more of what you love with speeds to keep you connected and entertained. Visit discoverflow.co today. With Flo, it only gets better. Security is just one of the many issues down for discussion at the executive meeting of the Caribbean Union of Teachers here in St. Lucia. Educators from across the region are deliberating on issues affecting the education sector at the gathering hosted by the St. Lucia Teachers Union. Lizanne Boville-Jones reports. The executive of the Caribbean Teachers Union, CUT, and a unit in the region have converged in St. Lucia for its annual meetings. The two-day conference will take place at the Belgium Hotel. Amongst the topics to be discussed are compensation for teachers as it relates to CIC SBAs and health and safety at the schools. We look at the issue of school security, we look at the issue of violence um, in our schools and how we can find reasonable solutions to those problems. And interestingly, the CUT is, uh, does not stand isolated and so we engage with quite a number of international partners. So this meeting will also give us a new mandate to engage with those partners and to bring great opportunities to the teachers of the Caribbean, not just our union leaders, but also teachers of the Caribbean. We're very pleased to be here in, in Zilusha. President of CUT, Ashwil Fazil, says the intersessional meetings present an opportunity for member unions of the respective countries to work towards the implementation of their strategic plan. He added that the shared environment in which teachers continue to operate and students learn is of paramount concern the executive. All of our units, bar none, would have sought to implement in their collective bargaining um, arrangements some, some degree of protection for teachers and their students. Governments aren't always very faithful to uh, meeting those standards that we have established and so it requires constant policing to ensure that they're meeting those standards. The first term for teachers and students in St. was marred by health and safety issues, some of which resulted in protests and meetings with the Ministry of Education. Last month, a student in Barbados was killed on the school's premises. I think that sends shockwaves throughout the region, and so it behooves all of us now as educators, as union leaders, to pay great attention to this is conflict resolution to the issue of providing adequate and competent security services um, for our schools just to ensure that all of our um, teachers and students can con continue to remain safe. The school is a changing environment. Our society is a changing space. And so our, the way our children respond to, um, to conflict is no longer the same. Don Howell is the General Secretary of the Bian Teachers Union and the first Vice President of the St. Lucia Teachers Union, SLEU. We see through our discussions that we face many similar challenges throughout the region. That of school security, the issue of, of marking of CXC, SBAs, um, um, health and safety in schools. All of those issues are common issues throughout the region. And, and, and for us at the St. Lucia Teachers Union, it's an opportunity for us to share best practices with our colleagues. We hold a critical seat on the executive of the CUT, which is that of the Secretariat. And, and with, with that responsibility, it therefore places a, 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 a role on the SLTU to lead the charge way in the region as it relates to the issues that have impact education, impact teachers and students in the region. Unit reports and a review of the CU teacher teacher plan outcomes will be conducted on Friday, December 13th. Lizandro Jones, EGS Force. The St. Lucia Social Development Fund and the water and sewage company Wasco have inked a major agreement which will bring long overdue pipeborne water to the community of Vesikwe. We get the details in this report. The St. Lucia Social Development Fund and water and sewage company Wasco have signed an agreement to increase the availability of pipeborne water to the Vesikwe community. The agreement was signed at the water and sewage company's administrative building on Wednesday, December 11, 2019. The Vesikwe Water Supply Extension Project is funded by the Caribbean Development Bank under the ninth cycle of the Basic Interest Fund, BNF9. The project is intended to channel portable water households in the Vesikwe community. Executive Director of the Social Development Fund, Alison Mafre, provided insight on the different problems that Vesikwe residents have encountered over the years. 
the government of St. Lucia and the Caribbean Development Bank have come together with WASCO um, to provide the water to this facility. And um, we are all excited and we look forward to when the residents actually have water running to their homes. Over the years, residents of ECQ had to resort to rainwater harvesting, which in and of itself is not bad. We should always we should invo um, get involved with rainwater harvesting for environmental reasons. Um, they also had to rely on the community pond, and that comes with its own issues because, of course, there is vulnerability to the to disease because they're not using um, purified water, especially for children. Many residents had to purchase drinking water and even had to truck water during the dry season. The city will construct it at an estimated cost of EC $2.1 million. Minister for Equity, Social Justice, Local Government and Empowerment and Parliamentary Representative for Grizzly, Honorable Lena Buntut, express relief on behalf of the residents who to date have experienced limited access to pipe and water. I want to express my sincere gratitude on behalf of my constituents and on behalf of the government of St. Lucia to the Caribbean Development Bank who are providing pretty close to half of the resources needed for this program. I'm sure that the people, the residents of VACP will be eternally grateful for that improvement in their lives. Over 100 residents will be affected about 45 households will be impacted, and that, I think, is significant. And the most of all, you, you were told, too, that there was the use of a major community pond where many residents rely on their source of water, for their source of water. And that in itself, as you have heard, was causing its fair share of problems, especially among children, because we had cases of waterborne diseases as a result of the use of the water from the pond. So these will be a thing of the past. And I'm happy to know that we will not only be making life easier, but improving in many ways the lives and health of the people of that community. Clean safe water is a privilege that is often taken for granted in developed countries and one that is not always accessible in developing nations. Reporting from the Ministry of Equity, Social Justice, Local Government and Empowerment, I am Chevroy Marius. Still to come, the Botham Jean Foundation donates to the Boys Training Center and the New Beginnings Transit Home. St. Lucia, we've got great news for you. Flow Home Internet just got better. Now with faster internet speeds, you can surf, binge, play, and stream non-stop on St. Lucia's most reliable network. The best part is the speed increase is on us. So enjoy more of what you love with speeds to keep you connected and entertained. Visit discoverflow.co today. With Flow, it only gets better. The Bank of St. Lucia For every solution Building our future today We are the Bank of St. Lucia For every solution With you every step of the way Always there for you Serving you and me The St. Lucia way We like family Always there for you Helping you and me We are the Bank of St. Lucia For every solution Bank of St. Lucia All the bank you need This holiday season it's the perfect time of the year to spend with the ones you love and show them exactly how you feel. Making the most of the season. So where do you find you need to make this season the best one ever? Quartz, actually. Bringing value home. If you work or plan to build the end, we have some great news for you. Bryson Company Limited expanded its operations to the north, making transportation less of a hassle and cheaper for our northern stuff. So, if you get the highest quality brewing, fencing, gearing, wet wipes, and bar products, check out Bryson Company Limited, located in VA4, Castries, now in the and St. Jules Bryson Company Limited, built for living, built for life. There's a reason you get up on a morning. A reason you pick yourself up. Start the day. Maybe it's because no people like you are waiting for people just like you. For Republic, that reason is you. It's all about making a difference in your life. Because after 180 years, if it's one thing sure about, is that the difference is you. Back. We're the one for you. December 13th, the action is in view for Hoisin and a Grand Celebration Concert. Creep and Jackie. Love me, love me, love me. Patrice Roberts, Misha, Tennyson John Project, Ricky T, and Ezra the Fun Machine. 
We stay tickets cost $25 all sell out place. and online at eventbrite.com. Children and 12 free. December 13th, run us into Chapterfa. The Botham Jean Foundation is seeking to bring Christmas cheer to two institutions at the forefront of helping the underprivileged and under, under, underserved in Solution Society. Directors of the institution paid a special visit to the Boys Training Center and the New Beginnings Transit Home to present gifts to children in need. Winston Spring Jr. has the details. The Botham Jean Foundation has made a donation to two institutions needed during the holiday season. Forged in tragedy, the charity was established to honor the memory of the late Botham Shem Jean who died at the hands of an off-duty but in-uniform Dallas police officer in the confines of his home in Dallas, Texas, in September 2018. Amber Geiger has since been tried and convicted of Botham's death. Family members, including his mother, Alison Jo, have been at the forefront of social justice campaigns at home and abroad, ensuring that the legacy of a son, an avowed Christian and widely admired exemplar, endures. The Boys Training Center, home to wards of the state and juvenile offenders, was one of the two state institutions to be graced with the foundation levelant and spirit of tourism. This time of year, which is Christmas time, most people go out and they give gifts. And we thought that the boys of the Boys Training Center deserve to have gifts that would help them play together, have teamwork together, so that during Christmas season, we can have as joyous an occasion as other people in our society. So we've come this afternoon to present a small token of board games, um, sporting equipment, so that you can all enjoy. We trust that you will use these gifts um, to help you enjoy the season and also develop, develop among yourselves the camaraderie that is required um, while you spend your time here at the Boys Training Center. The chief warden at the BTC expressed gratitude on the donation, which includes sports gear and board games. He says Botham's shining example is worthy of emulation. We would like to the foundation, Botham John, um, for his generous contribution. Um, coincidentally, um, I chose to, to wear red, which is Botham John's favorite color. Um, it's only after I've heard I was informed of this presentation. So I guess. From since when I woke this morning, there was something. Um, for those who have heard about Bo Fumcha, he was an individual, in my view, from what I've heard, was exceptional. I didn't know he was not, but um, I have friends who knew him, um, and he was an exceptional individual. I think it's one um, the attribute that he possessed is one that, that we all can emulate. Officials, BTC underscore how small gestures can have the rehabilitation process. I know that boys, everything here is that they're looking forward to the football. Um, the board games, basketballs, the and everything. I'm going to go a, a long way uh, into assisting with the general rehabilitation of all our wards there. According to family, the new beginnings transit has spare place in Botham's heart. Known for its volunteerism and community outreach, it is one of the institutions is the donation. The foundation also brings Christmas cheer to safe haven for vulnerable young people. The institution is one that Botham assisted. He highly regarded that institution because he always had a passion for ensuring that the underprivileged and the underserved were given attention. And so we have continued what Bofam started. So since we are approaching the Christmas season, we thought that the young children who are here at the transit home need to have what all other children have, and, these, and that's gifts at Christmas time. So we've come together, the board of directors of the Bohemja Foundation, who are here with us today, came to an event that we would give gifts to the, the children who are here. Alison Shaw hopes the gift of the children at the incident during most spell of times. Winston Springer Jr., HTS News Force. Prime Minister Alan Shah presided over the annual Christmas party for children with special needs on Wednesday. The event has become a time-honored tradition at the official residence of the Prime Minister, regardless of who occupies the office. It's also a staple on the itinerary of events, heralding the start of the holiday season. This is always the time of the year that, as Prime Minister, I look forward to. Um, this is an event that was started by the Honorable Stephen King, um, and I think that Prime Ministers now have adopted this um, as a fixed uh, 
event on our calendar, and that's dealing with our special needs kids. Um, and it's always a, an honor to allow them to have access of the Prime Minister's residence. And we all turn in Dallas for today, and we've got tanks here um, and activities for these kids. But I just want to say that this is an opportunity to look a highlight. Um, we do have people in society with special needs, and they've all got to be generous in being able to help. And I, I particularly thank uh, all of the teachers, the principals, but most importantly, with some of the private institutions we have, board members who continue to volunteer their time um, to this incredibly well. Um, I'm very excited to see DB uh, that are going to be able to secure to now improving the quality of the facilities that we have for special needs. And, and going around and seeing some of them are really important. Um, so for being able to improve the physical facility, but then and being able to get special educational uh, toys to be able to help them in their learning and for them to become independent citizens in this country. Because ultimately, that's what it's about. We're a long ways to go. But this is the spirit. I want to thank all of the schools participating in this event and to let them know they're always welcome here. And I'm hoping that students will reach out and make sure, maybe even Christmas, but you can pass by and give us toy to a kid in need. Finally, we bring you the latest of the picture presented by Avril James. Thank you, Andrea, and welcome to all our viewers and listeners. Weather conditions are mostly partly cloudy. Until the latter parts of the day, we saw an increase in cloudiness and shower activity. That's as a result of some moisture and instability, along with an upper-level jet stream and a surface trough, which will cause some clouds, showers, and possibly isolated thunderstorms for the next 24 hours. And we have the Atlantic high pressure system, which will maintain moderate to brisk easterly winds across the region. Seas are a bit rough, so we advise small craft operators and Bathers exercise caution due to brisk winds and rough seas. We have wave heights averaging six to eight feet, and your weather conditions mostly cloudy and breezy. It is important that my insurance company understands my needs, and MNC General Insurance does. My business is in a location that is prone to flooding, and I've been flooded for three consecutive years. But my insurance company has kept me afloat. Everything is insured with MNC General Insurance. My home, business, legal, farm, personal defense. I refer all my friends and family to MNC General Insurance because I'm a customer. Everything is important to you. That's what we do at MNC General Insurance. MNC General Insurance. The tradition continues. Our temperature at Hewanara, 27 degrees Celsius, 81 degrees Fahrenheit, with winds blowing from the east at 22 miles per hour. Skies at George Charles is partly cloudy and Hewanara cloudy. Sunrise tomorrow will be at 18 minutes after 6 and sets at 23 minutes before 6. The 24-hour rainfall ended today at 2 p.m. at George Charles, 9.4 millimeters and Hewanara, 9.2. The tides for the Castro Harbour will be low tonight at 15 minutes after 10 and high at 1 minute before 5 tomorrow morning and low again at 28 minutes after 9 tomorrow morning. Tides for the VA4 Bay will be low tonight at 18 minutes before midnight, high at 6 minutes after 6 tomorrow morning and low again at 15 minutes after 10 tomorrow morning. And the forecast, winds will be blowing from between the east and east-southeast near 20 miles per hour, 1 km per hour with occasional gusts. Seas will be locally rough with waves and swells 6 to 8 feet or 1.8 to 2.4 meters. Small craft operators and sea bathers are advised to exercise caution due to brisk winds and rough seas. And your weather conditions, generally cloudy and breezy with occasional showers, which may be heavy in some locations. And this brings us to the end of the weather for this evening. I'm your presenter, April James. Do have a safe National Day weekend. Thank you, April. And with that, we come to the end of the HTS News Force for today. Thanks for viewing. And thanks for listening online and also on Radio 100 Island FM. Also, our partner station, 88.5 Sufra FM, on htsnusha.org and also on Facebook. And remember, you can follow the HTS the news live, HTS and HTS News. 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 And